Video streaming, the technology that allows us to view media content in real time over the internet, has revolutionized our lives, transforming entertainment, education, and communication, and making the world a more connected place. Video streaming is a data-intensive process. The size of video files and the need for continuous delivery for a seamless viewing experience make it a heavy consumer of bandwidth. Luckily, with the proliferation of high-speed internet, live video streaming is now commonplace. However, many remote locations have limited bandwidth or unstable internet connections, making low bandwidth optimization a critical solution in these remote areas. This technology is particularly significant in remote operations, where the need for two-way communication of video and data can be challenged by bandwidth limitations. Bandwidth refers to the maximum amount of data that can be transferred over an internet connection within a given time frame. When the term low bandwidth is used, it denotes a relatively smaller volume of data being transferred per unit of time. Satellites play an integral role in delivering internet services to these remote locations. While some offer impressive download speeds, one of their primary challenges is providing robust latency and upload speeds critical for two-way communication. This limitation is due to the technical constraints of satellite-based systems, where the signal must travel an extensive distance from the user's terminal to the satellite and back to a ground station. For tasks that require substantial data upload, such as video conferencing or online gaming, these latency or lag times can pose a significant problem. This problem is particularly evident in video streaming for remote operations, where low latency is critical to maintain real-time interaction and data sharing. Although advancements are being made, such as the deployment of low Earth orbit, commonly called LEO satellite constellations by Starlink and other satellite companies, the issue of upload speeds and high latency remains a significant challenge for satellite-based internet services. Key strategies employed in low bandwidth video streaming include video compression, adaptive bitrate streaming, ABR, and data buffering. Video compression reduces the size of the video file by eliminating redundant data. Lossy compression is often employed in low bandwidth scenarios as it can significantly decrease file sizes, despite some loss of video quality. In the context of remote operations, these techniques can be invaluable. Harvest Technologies NodeStream has been specifically developed to solve this issue. With the ability to deliver decision-making quality media at bandwidths of less than 100 kilobits per second, or the ability to deliver high-definition, high-frame-rate streams of deliverable quality media as low as 512 kilobits per second. Low-bandwidth video streaming is not just a convenience, but a necessity for ensuring remote operations can be carried out without significant compromises in communication, cost, operational standards, and safety. In conclusion, low bandwidth video streaming plays a vital role in remote operations, allowing for effective communication and data sharing, even under bandwidth limitations. With video compression, adaptive bitrate streaming, and data buffering, it provides a practical solution for video streaming in constrained conditions. As advancements in video compression technology and adaptive streaming algorithms such as NodeStream continue, the effectiveness and efficiency of low bandwidth video streaming in remote operations will only increase.